my god i can't believe it i'm so excited um it's you know it's my very first nomination so i kind of feel like i like cheated the system a little bit but um it's it's the most prestigious award a romance novel can win and uh you know, it's, it shows they love me, they love me, they really love me. Well, I've, I've always been a huge, huge Jane Austen fan and, and maybe even a bigger Colin Firth fan. And I find that Colin Firth, uh, there's just something about him for women of a certain age, my age, um, that's just pretty magical. So of course I've watched the, you know, the six hour um, A&E miniseries like, you know, 20 times. And uh, I thought to myself, wow, there's just there just couldn't be anything nicer than being a, you know um, Lizzie Bennet in you know in with Mr. Darcy trying to court you and then I thought hmm unless it would be Mr. Darcy trying to court me or somebody like me and then I thought bingo that's it I have my heroine kind of somehow land magically in uh, in in the plot of the novel and uh, mess things up um, and when she comes back she thinks that she's kind of just had this this like one-time adventure that hasn't really affected anybody except her and then she spots a copy of Pride and Prejudice and realizes that whoa, what transpired between her and Mr. Darcy has changed everything about the book so she's kind of in a in a bind at that point and has to enlist the help of a very Darcy like Jane Austen scholar who's visiting and um, he gets involved in the adventure too. <laughs>